Hey, in this quick tutorial, we're going to explore how to app smash Magic School AI with Canva to create bingo cards. We'll be designing the bingo cards in Canva, so we'll use a little bit of our design skills there. And then we'll use Magic School AI, one of their magic tools, to take a standard, pull vocabulary words from there, as well as the definitions we can use, and when we call out those, those words with students. Now, bingo is kind of an old school tool, but I still think it's a fun way to review for your students. It's always good, too, to have some bingo cards printed, ready to go on those weird days, like picture day or a field trip day, or when you only get to see part of your kids, or when there's just a weird schedule. I think bingo is a good, good tool to use and to have in your toolkit for, for just days like that. Kids love it, it's fun, it's engaging, but it's also good to review that content-specific vocabulary. So here we go. So for this app smashing project, we will start with Canva, and you can see here that I'm going to create a design that is eight, sorry, 11 by eight and a half, 11 by eight and a half. So that'll be the perfect size for printing. So that design is going to open up into a new screen. Here we go. All right, all right. Now from the search over here on the side, I'm going to look for some elements that maybe are, have a science themed background. Since this, just for example, we're going to do a science themed bingo set within Canvas. So I'll see what I can find out. Canva's got a lot of great options for me here. Oh, perfect. Here's one that actually includes a border. Uh, here's one that's a full background. We'll click on this border for now. I'm going to pull it open. So I'm going to show you a few ways here. If you want a border like this and you want to put the vocabulary bingo in the middle, you can do something like this, shift it to the left or shift it to the right aligned. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it so that you can cut this in half. So with one sheet of paper, we're actually making two bingo cards. So that way we'll save a few trees as we create these, uh, these uh, printable bingo cards. So I'm going to adjust it here, get it just right, get it just perfectly centered to my liking. Yeah, pretty close. That's good stuff. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the, this object and control D or duplicate it. So now you can see I've created maybe just some some borders for my bingo cards to kind of make them look a little fancier, a little a little fun for the students. And if you want, you have the option to create just draw a black line down the center. You can use this black line as your your cut line, right? So you know exactly where to cut to get it. Now that we have our background set up or our canvas set up within Canva, we're going to jump into Magic School AI now and I'm going to look for the vocabulary list generator. You can see that right here, vocabulary list generator. When I open that, it's going to open up into a new screen. I'm going to just leave it at a seventh grade level just for this, but you can look, you can go five, seven, 10 or 15. We'll go with 10. Now I'm going to let it know that I want it to generate a list of vocabulary words for me from a very specific standard that I've already opened up. All right, so I'm going to copy and paste those over. Do a quick check and maybe just clean it up a little bit, although I don't think that's going to make much of a difference when it comes to the Magic School product. Um, the generator does a great job even if you don't clean it up, but I'm going to clean it up just maybe that'll help just a bit. Now I'm going to scroll down to here to the bottom and I'm going to say, can you create a vocabulary list for me? Perfect. Awesome. Let's click generate and I don't even have to type that and boom, just like that a list of 10 words from this standard. I like what I see here. Awesome. Now I'm going to go down here and say, all right, Reina, can you, can you generate 20 more words this time? Just like you did there. Perfect. Give me 20 more words and let's see how it does. All right. Good stuff. Here they start to come. Now you can see 10 plus 20 actually equals 30. I'm going to go on the, the higher side here because I eventually just want 25 words for my, for my bingo. But yeah, it's cranking out some awesome definitions that I'll be able to use for my bingo cards back in Canva just a moment. Scroll through, give it a quick double check. Yes, I do like what I see. I think these are going to work well. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I did like the words it, it provided me with, but I'm going to ask it if it will give me five words that are more specific to organelles within a cell and their function, just so I can get a little more depth with these content specific vocabulary words. So I want you to know that you can push this chatbot. You can push Raina to give you a little bit more content if you want. So perfect. There we go. We've got endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, vacuole ribosome. Good stuff. I like what I see here. Awesome. All right. Wonderful. Now, the next thing I want Raina to do is take that list and you can see my prompt here. We're going to take that list and turn it into a bulleted format without the definition, because that's what I'm actually going to use in Canva. So Raina will do that for me once I give her that clear prompt. Yes, here they go. Awesome, awesome. Now at the very bottom, yep, this is exactly what I need. You're going to want to click copy. Now we're going to jump back into Canva and dig into the bingo set, right? You can see I swapped out my background there. I actually wanted to have um, a, a slightly different look and feel. You can do a frame like I did earlier or a border, but you can also just take an entire background and use that. And now what I'm doing is going to add some boxes that while I will eventually put those bingo cards inside of. So we'll do, they're blue now, but let me get them positioned just right. And I will turn both of those boxes white 
And that'll be what I use for my vocabulary words. Yep, got them center, got them aligned. I like what I see, good stuff. All right, let's just swap them out to be white. Now, on this left-hand side, notice that you have your app shelf. You can search for bingo cards. Search for bingo cards, and that's where we find the generator, right? They've got some stuff here. I'm gonna copy and paste in my words. Awesome, awesome, good stuff, they're all there. Now, as we scroll down just a bit, you can see that you can change your grid size from three, four by four, five by five. I'm actually gonna go five by five, make it a big boy, right? I also have the option to change my font as well as the number of cards I want. Now, when I'm all the done, I click this magical create bingo cards button and boom, there they all are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I didn't have to create a document and swap these words around or anything like that. They're all there for me. Now notice I'm gonna duplicate my slide or my graphic over in Canva, and then I'll simply just start clicking and adding those bingo cards onto the slide. All right, almost done, getting the last few cards added over. All right, so now the next thing I'm gonna do is after, after I've added the vocabulary word or the bingo cards onto it, I just wanna give it a little title up here. So we're gonna call it Cellular Biology Bingo. Cellular Biology Bingo. I'll get that typed and formatted here. My pro tip or recommendation would be to get it perfect on one of your cards, get it aligned, get the font just right, your colors just right, however you want it. And then after that, you can just simply copy and paste it to the other side of your card. And then after that, you can control C and copy all of them and move it to all five of your cards really quick. So now that I've copied that format, you can see that I'm going to control V that on all five of my PDFs or all five of my pages. Now, just in case you haven't used Canva before, up here on the top right hand side is the share button. You'll click share, download, and then I'm gonna change this to say PDF print, and then you can download these and print these to use with your students. Now, if you still have Magic Square AI open, I'm gonna give you one last, last uh, quick pro tip. So what I wanna tell Raina, the chatbot to do here, is just say, can you please take all of the vocabulary words that you've given me, as well as all the definitions, and I wanna format these into a column format, right? Now, not only do I want them in a chart format, but I want three other columns in there as well, three other columns in my chart, and I'm gonna use those columns to help me keep track, like check, check, check I've said this word the same amount as I've said that word so that when I'm reading out these definitions or even when I give students a read out a definite chance to read out definitions while we're playing bingo I can simply give myself a check mark to let myself know that yeah okay you've said that word an equal amount of times so I'm gonna give her a prompt and watch and see what she comes up with all right here goes I'm gonna click generate or click the uh, the go button and just like that, boom, Raina not only will give me my content, but she'll put it in a chart format for me so that I can now keep track of myself as we use these words for vocabulary bingo. This is awesome. I love this. I can take this. I can copy it. Uh, I can send it to a, a Google Doc. I can print this and just have this handy with me while we play that game. All right, I hope you feel equipped to combine the creativity of Canva with the power of Magic Square AI to create some engaging bingo cards for your classroom.